Mm-mm-mm. Excitement. How are you guys doing? This fine Minecraft evening. It is the morning. No, afternoon for me. Just looked at the clock. Corrected myself before. Chance. Got a great view. The view from the inside is not that bad either. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, I think... <laughs> we've got... Zombie Pigman here. Hello, friend. Whoa, look at that. Knockback. Bloop. <laughs> Zombie Pigman. And, uh, what's this here? Funded by Muffin Corpse and Yama Limited. It is redstone and pistons and endstone. Mm, I think it's a hint that they want the ender farm to be ups and runnings. Um... Oh, I didn't replant that nether wart, did I? I'll leave this here. I should do that. Nether warts are important. Although I have a, quite a bit. It's a hint. But you know what? Don't think I'm going to quite get started on it yet. Um, I do have to make a rail path to somewhere in in the end. Uh, for the ender farm. And yeah, the other thing we need to do is we need a lot of string. Got the iron to make the hooks. And we're going to do a different design for the ender uh, dragon thing. And I think... I wonder if Yama learned from his mistake last time. Uh, is, Yama is online here. He didn't say hi to me when he came on, so I'm assuming he was idling. Oh, but he's not idling here. <laughs> Last time he came by here, I used water, and I pushed them into the little grotto here, and uh, I sealed them in so you couldn't get out, and he was like, what's going on? And he used another one of my potions. So yes, one of the things I need to do is I need to set these gate switches here. Um, basically, what I'm doing with the rail is I have the skelly grinder there, and the skelly grinder back down there. And the other path, the other rail that you guys saw, will lead to the stronghold. So what I'm going to do eventually is I'm going to make this button activate something. It will send a pulse down to switch the track, and it will send the cart off as well. I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> so yes, if I if I set this up correctly, it will it will switch the track for me, and it'll send the cart off, and then I will use a um, a latch circuit to keep the track focused that way. I'll keep the track focused that way, and the cart will go through, and then there'll be a detector rail here that will reset the latch and fix it that way, because coming back, this is the way I want it to be. All right, so that's that one, and I have a similar setup upstairs that will be... Uh, bah, 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 bah. Similar setup upstairs here. This path leads to the Hang Gardens, but there's a secondary path here, and we're going to have a switch that leads us to the Spider Grinder, which is where I get all my string from. And that's what I want to do today, is set up the Spider Grinder. Oh, hello. <laughs> um, one other thing I want to show before we head down there and, not, and totally uh, skirt our duties of building an ender farm. So I built a little garage here. I called it my pork parker, bacon barn, ham house, swine salon. And uh, yeah, we've got two pigs in here so far. We've got the pig boss and we got old major. And uh, anytime I feel like riding out to somebody, I can just grab the good old carrot on a stick and hop on and uh, ride them off towards the sunset or the sunrise rather. But we'll leave that for today. Maybe we'll grab a ride some other time. Got carrots growing off on the side. Some of these already came out, so that's good. We'll use that. I can't help but harvest carrots, man. They're so delicious. Nah. What's up, Doc? It's time for you guys. Not yet, anyways. Put that away there. 
And yeah, they're pretty well behaved. I think they're kind of hurt a little bit because, um, especially old major, he's been punched a few times. Because you can punch the pig themselves to make them force jump upwards a little bit. Uh, and the pigs are very, very bad at swimming. So what I've been doing is anytime I get stuck in water, I just kind of punch them a little bit, and then they'll hop out of the water. Goody, goody. But uh, I think you can only punch them about four times before they die. So unfortunately... Uh, one of the pigs is kind of near death because I've been punching him a little bit. I've been a little bit abusive. I'll admit it. I'll be the first to admit. But um, oh, you know what? I should actually, I should actually breed them, shouldn't I? I should grab those carrots and breed them. And maybe by feeding them, I will also heal them, too, because that's how you heal dogs. So I'm not totally sure on that. But we're gonna give that a shot and um, get some levels while we're breeding. Breeding all the things. Breeding all the things except the sheep. There's no grass in here, so these sheep are forever naked. They are pink sheep uh, because pink sheep rock. And I found some random ones in the area. Okay, guys. Woo! Everybody's coming on to me. I, oops! I accidentally touched the sheep. Oh no! They bred. That was okay. Uh, it's okay. I do eventually probably will need to make a, a sheep thing, but I don't know. Whoa! So many of these guys. Oh, little baby sheep. He's got pink wool on him. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't think there's any other ones here. Oh, that one. Oh, and that one. One of these guys will reproduce. I don't know who. I think we're done with the cows. They're all coming on to me. Uh, uh. Alright, we're done. Let's use the carrots and just try to breed. <clears throat> we'll get another pig. This will be our first pig that we bred inside. Captivity. You there, and you, even though you're both male, I think. Ho ho ho! He doesn't spawn with the saddle, though. <laughs> That's okay. I don't know what I'm calling him yet, um, the baby pig. If you guys have a name, put it in the comments, by all means. Let me know what I should call that baby pig that was born to captivity. Free Willy! Okay, so we're going to skirt on our duties of making... Uh, ender farm, and we're gonna make another thing first. Uh, I got my water buckets. Cool. Let's put away this stuff that I don't really need. Uh, I think I'm almost filled with seeds. I don't need any more very soon. And I'm taking that. I will need. Oh boy. I will need some sticky pistons. I'll just take the whole stack. Um. I uh, don't need dispensers. I probably will need rails eventually, but you know what I need is I need a lot of repeaters. That's what I realized. So we're gonna make a whole bunch of repeaters. And repeaters are stupid expensive to make, in my mind. They're kind of silly expensive to make. Um, and yeah, we'll grab some of this here. And we'll grab some of these here. And probably some glass too. Okay, that should be good. Uh, I might have to come back for some more stuff later, but for now, we'll use this, and we'll go visit the spider spawner, and uh, we'll take a look. And the pathway there is actually quite interesting, because I realize now with the zombie spawner that we found two episodes ago, and the scale grinder down there, and now with the spider spawner here, I've actually got all three spawners relatively close to my house. Uh, the zombie spawner obviously is pretty much useless. Um, they do give you potatoes and carrots, and occasionally the iron bars, and shovels, and helmets, and swords, and whatnot, but those are few and far between, and they're not that useful. Um, skeleton, of course, gives you arrows, and gets you them bones, which is good for bone meal, and spider gives you spider eyes, which are good for your potions, and gives you the good old-fashioned string, which I will need a lot of. So here's is my spider spawner. It's not too far away from my area, and I've already dug out the area. I've decided I'm not going to care too much about how this place looks right now, uh, if ever. It's not like really connected to my house. It's kind of hidden away here, and yeah. So this is a two-wide trench. Water flows from here, and it will end just before there. So that will send the spider down. And then the spider will go across here, 
and they can climb up, but usually what happens when the spider hit the very top, they kind of bounce off the top and fall back down, and then they will get pushed all the way through here. And then over here, what I'm going to do is, uh, let's put this water in here first, so I can climb back up here. Let's actually, let's dig that out too. <laughs> I can actually climb up here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put one water there. And I've kind of already preset this a little bit. So put the water there. And we're going to put water over... I think one goes here. Oh, crap. That's not where I want the water to go yet. Okay. And one goes here. And we should get this nice little crisscross pattern, which we didn't. I'm looking for that crisscross pattern. How does that work? Do I actually have to dump water there? Yeah, I guess I do. Okay. In which case, I will dump water here as well. Let's see if that works. So the spiders will come in here, and then they will get pulled up that way. And they'll kind of hover right about here. And this little vertical block, whoops, water makes things difficult. This little vertical block here will keep the spiders from popping out. So I'll only see this part right here. And then, how will I do the collection stuff? I can make a single pathway out, I think. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think a little bit ahead so I don't get caught on this. Uh, but this is how the water system here will work. And basically, if the spider drops any item here, then that item's gone, isn't it? Hmm. I could put ladders down or fence post. Yeah, you know what? We'll do that. Because um, I'm thinking once the spiders die, they're going to drop a whole bunch of items down. And if I use probably iron gates or glass panes, I'll probably use iron gate on one side, uh, iron fencing on one side, and glass pane on the other side. That way they won't connect together. I think that's how it works. Either that or I'll do fence posts and glass panes. I know for sure those don't connect together. But anyways, I'll do that. And that will create a little gap here for items to fall down, and items can go across that way. Um, so yeah, I'll worry about that later. Okay, the main thing I need to figure out here is we need to work on the crusher. Uh, because I can't use fall damage on spiders because they're really, really hard to predict in terms of fall damage um, because they can climb, right? So instead, we're going to crush them. And the spiders are going to be here. I think I need... I only need one crusher, don't I? Yeah, I only need one crusher. I'm going to put the crusher on this side, so I don't have to worry about it. The spiders all come up, and they're going to hover between these four blocks here. And I'll just get rid of this water for now. This is bugging me. So we're going to do this. I'm doing this kind of like on the fly. I don't even know if this will work. And we're going to put the block right there. Okay, so then these blocks will extend and they'll crush them uh, for an X amount of time. And what X will be will be equivalent to uh, 18 r repeaters, 18, 1, 8. 18 repeaters all set at maximum. So we will get some of these things, 31, I need, if I want to make 18, I need at least 36. We'll make a bunch. Boom. Shakalaka. Yeah, we'll just make a ton of these. Alright, 17, 21, good enough. <laughs> and we'll keep some leftovers. Uh, so yeah, we need 18 repeaters set up. And that should be enough time. We'll, we'll test it out, obviously. Um, the water flow and everything too. But yeah. I think what's going to happen is 
Let's use a wooden button, because wooden pops out better in the thing. Um, most likely, where I'm going to be standing is going to be around here, and then the water collection is down there, uh, or it'll loop around that way, so it'll be back there. So when I come over here, I will get to look at the spiders. They can't touch me. I'll have the button right here. I'll hit that, and that will start the timer clock uh, for the crusher. And let's just use cobble because we're in, I'm not too caring about looks right now. I just want to make sure it works. We'll, f we'll fix it up. We'll make it look pretty later. Um, mom, 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 mom. Goes there. It is one in. There they are. Uh, I think if I power this one with that. That would do it. Okay, here we go. We need 18 of these things. Uh, whoops, that's not what I needed. So, one, two. Three, four. Oops, dang it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we'll loop back down. Pick up some gravel while we're here, why not? Uh, most likely we'll have to loop down this way, I think. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, it's over here. interesting thing about the current snapshot is that um, repairing doesn't work but you can still combine items so we've been doing that and uh, buying some time like that one two three four five six seven uh, Seven, eight. Okay, we actually had to go back more than I thought. Uh, eight and nine. So that should be eighteen in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I should have ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That should make them all one punch. Um and that should be okay. Will this connect up? This will not connect up. Okay. Rock you like a hurricane. One, two. All right, there you go. All good. Let's try not to be stuck here. Okay, let's see if that works. That definitely was not right. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to. It says it has a long delay, uh, but this is supposed to be a countdown timer. It's supposed to be how long it stays on. For Four. So it needs to be a latch, I guess. I push a button and it activates a latch, and then this will turn off the latch. Is what it's supposed to be. Wow. Okay, I screwed that up pretty good. <laughs> it's just like tap, 
push. Oh, gone. I'm like, nope, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Whoops. Okay. I'll fix this up, guys, and then I'll come right back when, I, when I'm done with that. Jeez. Okay. So, um, I ended up doing exactly what I said I was going to do. Let's just light up this place a little bit better. Run out of torches while we're at it. So, I added up I added in this latch circuit here so that when I hit the button the latch circuit will trigger the pistons and then it will also trigger off this countdown and then the countdown comes back and turns off the latch so let's watch it go to work push the button piston pushes up the block countdown timer goes around and will turn off that circuit so hopefully that is long enough to make all the spiders one punch to kill. And uh, I've added in that little collection area, which hopefully spiders spiders can't fit in there, so that's all good. Um, yeah. So I've got that collection area. We'll have to half slab this area, pretty it up a little bit, and add the rail here eventually, but that's all just generic randomness stuff, so it should be okay. Uh, let me grab some water. Because I will need this. Yeah, I think that should be okay. Now we just need to test this out. So I need to go to the other side and put in all the water and take out all the torches and uh, get some spawns. So let's go do that. And hopefully it works. Hopefully it will work. Folks, help me put that sign up there. <laughs> Okay, so let's do the water. Um, I could just run down that way, hey, later on. So let's seal this off right now. Right this second. Oh, we're not going to be coming back here anytime soon. Seal that off. Take out that torch. We've got our Bane of Anthropod sword. <laughs> right now, so that's not too bad. We hopefully we won't get too many spawns right off the bat once we take off the torches. Give me some time to actually get this thing going. One, two, boop, 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 and boop. Good. Got it. Got it. Oh shit, I didn't get any water. Didn't get it. Okay. Oh, hello, spider. Yeah, I will punch you. I, I accidentally hit him on, like, reflex, and totally forgot that I was going to see if I can get him to go all the way to the other side without worry. So that's going to carry that water all the way through. And I'll connect with that. Um, That actually may not be desired. We'll see if they get stuck here. If they do, I'll put another sign on those sides. And uh, hopefully that won't be an issue, though. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab some signs and I'll fix that later, if necessary. Swim! Swim, Simba! Back, back. We still need to get rid of these last torches. Go! No, not to me. Not to me. Okay, you you dead. You dead, foo. Okay, and we need to take out that block. That block. Take out these torches. I keep... Whenever I use my good pick, I'm very scared I accidentally will use it on the spawner and destroy it and go like, well, that was a lot of work that I just wasted. Okay. Good. Spiders will spawn, yes. Take that one out. There you go. Spiders! Spiders are coming. The spiders are coming. Run away. And they will get stuck inside. And let's see if they climb up that waterfall. Sounds like they're drowning. Oh man, they're getting stuck in there. That's not where I want them to get stuck. I want them to get stuck up here. Yeah, that th those things are causing a problem. They are drowning in here. That's not supposed to be the case. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there you go. See, that's where the spider should go. They're getting stuck somewhere, though. So we need, we need to adjust this a little bit. They're supposed to come all the way up here. There you go. There's more. So a few of them are dying down there, but we are getting some up here. 
And the other question is, is I, I don't know if I'm close enough to the spawner that it will continue to spawn. Um, I wonder if I can get some, I don't have glass on me. Let's get some glass blocks and let's see if we can dig ourselves towards the spawner and uh, get a better view of it to make sure that it is spawning and we are within 16 blocks of the spawner. Oh, that's a spot I haven't explored yet, hey? Interesting. Well, spiders can't spawn in here, but other mobs can, so got to be careful about that, too. Mm. Sounds like they're all dying. That's not good. Did I go past it? I can't even tell anymore. How much further do I have to go? I think I went past it. <laughs> Where's my viewing room? I'm so confused. Shouldn't be too far. It sounds like... Oh, here it is. Hello, friends. So, it looks like we are within 16 blocks of it, though. Um... Let's see, what's the light level over here? We are at 4 here. 5, 6, 7. Let's put a torch around here. Get that to level 8 here, perfect. Right around here. 8, 7, no, one more closer. Light level 8, and no moss will spawn. Okay, good. So we can view from here. Spiders will spawn. I think that's within 16 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, just barely within range. But I don't know how many. I only see two here. We might have to adjust the water flows just so they'll survive. But let's try the crusher. And it looks like they stayed alive. I don't know. One of them died for sure. And that was a one-punch kill for that guy. But yeah. <laughs> it's not working perfectly, but we are getting at least string and stuff like that. Um, not the XP, which is what I was hoping for. Um, yeah, a lot of spiders are getting caught down there. I think it's this water flow right here is the problem. So we might need to put some signs there and see if that fixes the issue. Let's do that right now, because I kind of want to see if that fixes the problem. And if not, then I'll adjust the water flow. And at the worst, um, if nothing works, then I will simply just make it a string grinder, and I'll just get string from it. Um, because the, the design I have in mind for the, uh, which I'm going to call it, for the mob grinder will not produce spiders and this way at least I can get string when I want it and um, that's you know wouldn't be too bad having string and spider eyes on demand it's not not terrible it'd be better if I can make it uh, double duty and also handle them XP needs as well so then I can grind for the items and also grind for what I want in terms of, uh, well, why can't I swim it suddenly? Grind for what I want in terms of levels and for strings so I can get both of them at the same time. Basically what the crusher does, it crushes them for just barely enough time so that I can use the... Does that seem to be doing it? Uh, some of them are making through now, but they're still getting stuck on each other's butts. There you go. That's a little bit better. Yeah, now they're flowing inside. They weren't doing that before. It, it was the string. <laughs> I put letters on that one, but that's okay. Uh, kind of making it through. Not quite. I think they're aggroed on me. Maybe that's probably the case. Let's take a look. Yeah, there you go. Now they're getting here. A little bit better. Push the button. Crush them. Some of them will die because some of them were drowning. And then they come back up, and they should be one-punch kills. I might, I might shorten the uh, the crusher just a little bit. It seems like it's killing way too many of them. 
uh, I might I might take away one of these just for the heck of it because we're gonna throw a damage potion at them anyways uh, and a damage potion will do a couple of hearts damage so I don't actually need the crusher to crush for the, m the closest time possible um, but yeah they're still getting stuck down there after the crusher goes like they're coming up here but they're not coming all the way I might have to adjust the flow for this one yeah well it's partially working I mean that guy's not a one punch kill I wonder if the ones down there are a one punch kill now uh, we'll call a couple of experience balls from the one I punched and are you guys one punch kills? no these guys aren't one punch kills hmm how unfortunate and some of the things are getting stuck up here too they're not coming down we did pick up seven string that's hardly much at all actually um, the other thing we can do is we can just drown them all and just get all the string while we're grinding here but I do want to get levels um, you know since we're going underneath here we can also move the crusher down here and just hold them all in this spot because they do they do seem to get stuck here um, they'll get stuck over there too but I think I you know I might modify this to move the crusher uh, over here and I won't even have water holding them in place um, I won't even have water holding them in place I'll just straight up have this holding cell area and then they'll just all get cluttered here and then I will just kill them uh, crush them a little bit and then I'll throw a potion at them and then I'll, that should take care of it yeah that way I'll modify the design a little bit where I'll just stand underneath here and I won't even have this water anymore too down there because uh, it doesn't seem like it's necessary in fact I should just take it away now this doesn't seem to be helping me at all. What the heck's going on here? I can't get rid of these water blocks. Place, grab, place, grab. Use blocks, use blocks. Use blocks. Use blocks. Use blocks. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, that thing's stuck there. Yeah, I don't even need. I don't even need the the water there for collection. I just walk down in there anyways. Yep, few minor modifications, but I think this is pretty much the whole thing. I uh, might move the crusher down a little bit, and then I'll head down there and I'll just one punch them. Um, seemed like that killed a lot of them. Yeah, it killed pretty much all of them. Just go down, go down. I'll grab that. And we have no more spawns as well. So, yeah, a few things I'm going to modify is I'm going to bring this in closer, I think, over there, maybe. And that way they'll be stuck down there and uh, I can just... And I'll move the crusher over, so I crush them as well, and then I then I can throw a damage potion, and that will kill them. That will finish them off. So that will be our spider grinder, and that will get us some string. Now we're up to 47 string, so that's pretty good. And uh, that was off just a few seconds of things. I'll probably move this crusher and move everything as well. And uh, yeah, so that's a spider grinder. That'll get us enough string. And next time we come back, guys, we'll be working on the ender grinder. I promise. <laughs> Alright then, till next time guys, ciao! Heyo!